Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric. Welcome back to Ace Attorney, the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, justice for all. Phoenix? I can't do it, Mia. I can't accept a not guilty. You are a lawyer. I know. But... But Matt on guard is a killer. A murderer. I can't. I can't let him get away with this. I can't let someone else take the fall. If I let Ms. Andrews be convicted, then I am no better than on guard. And even though I don't want to admit it, I have to face the fact that it is because of Edgeworth that now I know the real truth. He could have gotten on guard convicted so many times over but he took, never took, a single one of those chances. If I take this verdict right now, I'd be betraying his trust. His... trust. Never thought about it up until now. Yes, I did. Oh. Oh, this... Oh, trusting Edgeworth specifically. Right. Yeah, I also thought about that. Why wouldn't I trust someone so... I mean, he's so good at what he does. He's intelligent. He knows how to put all the evidence together. Knows how to present his case perfectly. And yet, he also knows when to accept defeat. He knows that... The true goal of this courtroom is not to find someone innocent or guilty, but to find the truth. I... of course I trust Edgeworth. Despite how he left for a year, he's still my closest, uh, <coughs> friend. Just friends. Definitely. Yes, you do. Mr. Wright, your opinion, please. The defense requests that we be allowed to further question Mr. DeKilla. But am I hearing you correctly, Mr. Wright? Right. But, but, the witnesses cleared your client through his testimony. Your job here is done. I'm not done yet. To see through the witnesses' lies and find the truth. That is my job, Your Honor. There's still more evidence to look at. And I'm sure that once those pieces arrive here in this very courtroom, a miracle will occur. Very well, the trial will continue. Mr. Edgeworth, please re-establish connection with Mr. DeKilla. Right away, Your Honor. Has a verdict been reached? Before that, we would like to talk with you a little more. About? All you needed from me was the name of my client. What else could you need me for? Well... Actually, we would like to hear everything you know about this case. That is how things are usually done. What is he talking about, usually done? But what shall we have him testify about now? Mr. DeKiller, if you don't mind, please testify about your client in more detail. You legal people and your procedures. Is it any wonder why no one likes to go to court? <sighs> As I have already stated quite a few times, Adrian Andrews is my client. However, one thing I simply cannot overlook is tampering with the scene of the crime. My client did it to frame another for the crime. While pretending to be the first person to discover the body and enter the scene, 
Adrian Andrews already knew from the very beginning that Juan Carita was dead. But even more appalling is the creation and planting of the knife and button. That act is what I was referring to when I said my client had broken the rules. Hmm. This is most unexpected turn of events for the fifth time now. However, this time everything has been revealed. Just a second, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. We still have the cross-examination to do. But you don't need to question a testimony like this, do you, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, the defense will question the witness. As if I have a choice. Huh? Why? What is this... Uh, the, what, what this witness has said is nothing but beneficial to the defense's case. If you scrutinize the testimony, then... Then I'll expose the lies in that oh-so-beneficial testimony, I suppose. I don't understand what's going on anymore. That makes two of us. So... You said it was Andrews, however... Um... About... Uh, requesting a hit. How much is your fee? I see you're also quite a dark-hearted man, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you would like to talk business, we can do so after the trial. Uh, no, 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 no! I'm not thinking of hiring... M m Mr. Wright. Y yes y y You... You want to kill me? You want me dead, don't you? What? Why would you think something like that, Your Honor? Guilty! Mr. Phoenix Wright, you are hereby declared guilty. Witness, let's continue. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was actually a good interaction. I like that one. Any host. Uh, why not? Would think that most people wouldn't be over uh, be able to overlook hiring another person to kill. If I had a problem with such a thing, I wouldn't be very effective at my job. Uh, yeah. Well, a change in occupation might be good for you. However, I will say this. Even though I am the one that does the deed, my clients are always the real guilty party. That goes without saying, Mr. DeKiller. And their fate is to live with the knowledge of their guilt on their shoulders. However, my client this time thought they could run away from their guilt. Hmm, are you talking about the button and the knife? Yes, and my business card. Oh. So that no one has to waste their time, including the police, I always make it a point to make as many things as easy as possible. My business card makes it very easy to identify who carried out the service. Hmm. Right. Or pretending to be the first person that discovered a scene. None of your clients usually do that. They usually try and create an alibi. If you intend to hire me, you should create an alibi too. Uh, no, I already told you, I have no intention of using your services ever. Why does the judge keep looking at me like I'm the one on trial here? Adrian Andrews knew from the beginning Juan was, uh, Juan was dead. That is correct, before my client visited the room. All of my clients know precisely what the situation is at all times. Hmm. That's odd. Hmm. You're right. Didn't we already prove there was no way she could have known? Though we will wrap up with pressing testimonies, obviously. What do you mean by why? Well, 
fiddling with a crime scene is a bad idea, probably done to frame on guard. Why didn't the person just request that you do it? Sadly, that is not possible, eh? My job is to kill, that is all, and to leave my business card behind, naturally. So, my business card is so my clients may escape blame to protect them is my duty. Hmm. Even if they say so, it's for revenge, setting someone else up to take your fall. That act is what I refer to by saying she had broken the rules. That's all you've got. Pray that I will never again be called to the witness stand. You plan to continue? Must as I have yet to uh, find a person to take my place and become the fourth successor. Actually, how would you like a new life, Mr. Attorney? Excuse me? Uh, no, no, no. I'm fine. Really? Are you really now? I wonder what kind of man the judge thinks I am now. What are you going to do, Phoenix? Expose the lies. There is a good Adrian Andrews already knew from the very beginning that Juan Carita was dead. No, she didn't! <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to testify, Mr. DeKiller. What is the meaning of that attitude? I can pick it up even over radio. When Adrian Andrews entered the victim's room, your client had no idea that Juan Carita had been murdered. But how? How do you know that? From this wine glass, Your Honor. The glass. Mr. DeKiller's supposed client thought Mr. Carita had only fainted, which is why this glass of tomato juice was poured for the victim. Hmm, but isn't that just a part of Adrian Andrews' calculated plan? That is not possible, Your Honor. This glass bears the fingerprints of that person. Had this been planted, they would never have left their fingerprints behind. I see your point, Mr. Edgeworth, your opinion. Strangely enough, I had the exact same thought just now. Witness, how do you explain this strange phenomenon? Uh, isn't it a waste of time to ask about such a minor detail? It's not very important point anyway, correct? I'm sorry, I didn't pick that up on the radio. Sorry, let me do it louder. Tisk tisk tisk. I'm afraid you are mistaken. If Adrian Andrews really is your client, as you claim, then your client should have had knowledge of Mr. Carita's death. If not, then that can only mean that Adrian Andrews was never your client at all. How strange. Yes? Why is it that the attorney has yet to raise an objection to this absurd situation? Phoenix, if the killer figures out what we're up to, we're in real trouble. Yeah, I know. Mr. Edgeworth, I'm surprised. You know you can't say things like that without any evidence. Ah, sorry. Well, that was an awfully weak objection for the two of you. Anyway, I am positive there was a contradiction in that testimony. The prosecution requests further testimony considering... Considering? Concerning when the request was taken. Very well. Right now I have to buy us more time. Buy in time. Buy in time. While we wait for the items to kill a left behind. 
know the outcome of this trial lies in whatever those are. This request came to me, oh, about a week ago. Request for my services on the night of the award ceremony. Met at a certain bar to discuss and finalize a few matters. That is what occurred, I trust my memory and believe I've made no mistakes. Hmm. So you physically met your client, huh? That is correct, meeting one's client is the first step to building trust, in my opinion. Well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Well, my cross-examination... One week ago? Are you sure? Yes, I'm quite sure. I, of course, had my own preparations, and I was barely able to finish. When you request my services, Mr. Attorney, I hope you will keep that in mind. Please. Stop. In any case, my client this time had a very specific date and time in mind. Request for services on the night of the award ceremony. Did you ask why? No. I tried to fulfill all the conditions of my client's request, but for as for why, I only had my suspicions. Okay, what are the suspicions you had? Why did your client request that night? I'm sure it was all for the bear. The bear? My client spoke of it. I'm sure there will be a bear-shaped figurine in Juan Carita's room. I would like you to retrieve that item for me. Must be talking about the bear puzzle. Inside of that figurine was a suicide note. Naturally, the victim brought it with him to his hotel room. He was planning to publicly disclose its contents at the press conference, after all. That is correct. And if I had not done the job that night, I would not have known where that bear figurine was. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, was the testimony of just now of any importance? Of course it was. Made one thing clear, and that is, the client knew the secret of the bear figurine. Huh? Why is everyone so quiet? Mr. Wright, I think all of us already knew that. But, uh, oh, really? Witness, please continue. <laughs> ah, pointless badgering of the witness. So you physically met Adrian Andrews, right? Of course I did. What was that? With the brief pause? Witness, I would like for you to give us a few more details. I always meet my clients as a matter of principle. I've never taken a request by telephone or mail. And why is that? Because I value the trust above all else. Only way to establish that is to speak to the client while looking them in the eye. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright. Yeah, it was important. Mr. DeKiller had met his client before the murder. It's unlikely he is mistaken. So you're saying it was Adrian Andrews? I guess so. You see, it is just as I said. Ugh, I'm so lost. Who the heck am I supposed to be helping here? Calm down, Phoenix. Think carefully and relax. Now then, would the witness continue? So your client was Adrian Andrews. That is correct. Well, he says the two of them met, but if they did, there shouldn't be anything wrong with his memory. Hmm, draw more information out of him. You should be able to find a flaw in his testimony. I pressed every statement and didn't get anything new out of it. Oh, god damn it. I was meant to say what he said isn't important. Uh, when it comes to the fact he met the witness, he went on to say, talk about why he had met her. 
or why he met Andrew. You know what I mean. Witness, please stop sidestepping my questions. W what do you mean by that? My question was, did you really meet Adrian Andrews in person? I have already told you, Mr. Wright, I did. It was only through talking with him face to face that I began to trust him. That's when I thought I can trust this person as a client. <sighs> Shelly DeKilla? Misgendering someone in the year of our Lord 2017? How could you? That testimony was of importance, Your Honor. Huh? Really? If that's the case, witness, please include your statement in your testimony. Yeah, that's, a uh, real funny. Real funny that you would trust him, Shelly DeKilla. <laughs> yeah, I have him as a profile now. Whoa, who could Shelly DeKilla really be? Okay, uh, sorry, I need to stop sidestepping my own objections! <clears throat> I would like to go over this one more time. You met Adrian Andrews at the bar and took the request at that time. Yes, that is correct. And that's when you thought he was trustworthy? How many times must I repeat himself? Ye myself, yes, that is correct. I'm sorry, but that is an impossible tale. W what Shelley de Killer? You have never met the real Adrian Andrews. W why would you say that? Because you made one very big slip up. About her. So what is the issue? Oh shit. W wh what did you say just now? About her? If you had ever met Adrian Andrews in person, one look would have told you that she's a woman. My voice cracked because I've been voice acting for too long and I hurt my throat and ah! <laughs> Sorry, did that radio just break apart and then reform itself? Uh, uh, order, order in the court, Mr. Wright. What is the meaning of this? The witness testified to the following. Ah, uh, that he always meets face to face with his clients when taking their request. But he's never met Adrian Andrews in person. Yes, your honor, that is exactly the point. That means Mr. DeKiller's client could not have been Ms. Adrian Andrews. Is that meant to be... oil? Why is the radio oiled? Shouldn't it be mostly electronic, not mechanical? Mr. Edgeworth, I understand your logic on this one. However, why would the assassin make such a basic mistake? I believe it has to do with her name, Your Honor. Her name? Yes, Adrian Andrews is without a doubt a very androgynous name. Yeah, I'd say it leans on the masculine side of things, but for sure. Yeah, I I see. And luckily for Mr. Tequila, the entire time he was on the stand, no one had stated Adrian Andrews' gender. So he simply picked the wrong gender to go with. He made the classic blunder of misgendering someone in 2017. Wh what What is going on? Shelley DeKiller, this court demands an explanation. Um... I think... Somehow I mixed up this client with another. So does that mean you remember something different now? 
Yes, of course, please, if you would allow me to testify once more. No, he's just gonna spit out more lies. Very well, but this time please give us the truth and nothing but the truth. Oh, there's no way we're getting that out of him just yet. Yes, now I remember, I took that request by mail. There have been times when I took a job without having met my client. The request was for the murder of Juan Carita and two or three other small things. When I saw the name at the end of the letter, I thought my client to be a man. Hmm, so you took this job through a letter. You... No, Phoenix, he did mention something about that. He said he literally never does it. Anyway, he's definitely lying. Be careful, Phoenix. If you break the assassin's testimony completely, it's over for us. I know, I can't make him suspicious, but... Think we're okay. Like, we can do this. As long as he's standing there across from me. With that... Intense stare. And his will to find the truth. And yet, to help me save Maya. He knows as well as I do how delicate this situation is, and... He's helping me through it. Despite... Despite the fact I thought it was my fault that I'd made him left. Leave for a year. That I thought he'd made him... That I made him uh, commit... Uh, Despite everything, he's still with me. No matter how strong of a punch I throw, he'll counter it. Now then, let's begin the cross-examination. <sighs> yes, now I remember took the request by mail. But didn't you just say you always meet your clients? Yes, I suppose I did, but there are some where it's not possible. Hmm. No, I did not meet my client this time. Come now, let's stop playing this game with cat and mouse. Cough it up and confess. Can't badger a witness. Lawyer, behave like one and present evidence instead of mindlessly yelling. Any proof that Mr. Dekilla met with his client? Sure. Um. Oh yeah, you had to deliver this figurine. So, what do you think? You may say, what do you think? However, I am for all intents and purposes a transceiver radio. Ah, that's right, you can't actually see the evidence. Well, I don't think this was one I needed to see. I can hear the pure silence in the air. Oh, god damn it. Sorry, is it not proof that he met with his client if he was meant to deliver the wooden bear to said client? Come on. Oh, shoot, I really haven't saved since this. Well, with the factor of my previous objection apparently being wrong... I'll have to call it here for this episode, but I'll have a think on it between recording. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.